So this is gonna be a great video, a great breakdown, and I even took a couple notes because I don't want to forget anything that I'm about to explain in this video. Highly requested, highly demanded video. We're gonna talk about overthinking why this happens and what you have to do to not do this so much so you can move forward and live the life ultimately you're supposed to live and there's not just one answer to this there's many answers to this and you have to be very self-aware of yourself and your energy i'm pretty much mastering this right now but even sometimes still myself i'd, I'd be doing too much bro i work too hard i don't get enough rest it's so hard for me to rest because it's so damn boring. <laughs> but it gets to a point where you have to. Over the last like three or four days, I, I just started noticing over the last couple days. But like, my sleep wasn't the best. I slept. But it was kind of this restless sleep, if you know what I'm talking about. And it's like... I have to slow down for a second. Stop drinking as much caffeine, even though I'm having a bit right now. <laughs> um, get more meals in. Don't exercise so hard and just be in a state of calmness. Just no burdens on your mind, no extra workload, do just enough and rest for majority of the day type stuff so you can recuperate and then you can start doing extra. So let's get into this anyways. If you're sitting around with all the energy on earth and you're overthinking your life, what you have to do is instead of letting the overthinking paralyze you you have to take massive action. A lot of you are on the opposite spectrum as myself. I be doing too much, bro. Sometimes. Most of the time. And it usually catches up to me and hits me like a ton of bricks. And that's when I have to like step back. Go and lay in a dark room. And just meditate and focus on breathing and just... Calm your mind, let the world slow down and allow yourself to get revved up slowly again so your engine can start running the way you want it to run. This is what I have to do probably every couple months to up to a half a year. It will hit me because I just be doing too much sometimes, bro. I'm slowly starting to feel better right now, back in better energy, back in better spirit. Because I can hit a burnout myself. And it's not even that I was doing too much extra on any given day. It's just like over time it just catches up to you. And it's like there, there comes a point where you need to slow down. There comes a point where every professional athlete has to take a step back. And let the body rest so he or she can keep on going forward. That's my kind of... I wouldn't even consider this overthinking. It's just more so... It's like the opposite because overthinking stems from like not taking enough action, which a lot of you are in that position and it's not the end of the world. I'm just trying to give you guys answers to fix this. I never struggled with overthinking. And of course you think about things, but it's like overthinking. Not really, because I always I, I have always taken action when I didn't feel right about something. And of course, you can overthink to a degree about certain things, but it's like, I don't paralyze myself in that state. I'm always going to press forward and take action, even when I don't know what I'm doing. Which is what a lot of you guys have to do. 
in the positions you're in in life. You don't necessarily know what direction you're going in. And you kind of overthink it. It's like, I don't know what to do. I just feel lost. I feel stuck. I feel this. I feel that. I just don't know what to do. I just don't know where to turn. Instead of being paralyzed, that instead of sitting around thinking about it overly too much, take action towards something and you will feel better. And if you don't have energy to do it, which is the excuses some of you have, I don't have the energy or, or something like this, then you have to do what I do. Because sometimes I'll work so hard, I lose energy to the point where my jaw literally starts to hurt. I can barely talk. I can barely formulate a sentence. I can barely even go in public and just connect with anyone. I'm just like, like that, that's how much I run myself down sometimes, bro. I'm not even joking. And it doesn't happen often, not, not to that degree, but sometimes it does. Like I said, every couple months to a, about a half a year, out of nowhere, I get a little bit out of alignment. And I speak about alignment a lot on this channel and being in alignment, which I do a good job of for the most part, but just sometimes it happens. So if your excuse is you don't have energy, I'm going to tell you what you have to do. You have to allow yourself to not only rest, but meditate, eat good, clean foods, drink lots of liquids, go to a dark room, don't have a whole bunch of light on around you and stereos blaring and everything else. Quiet everything down and just... <sighs> Practice stillness. Because your body and your mind is recharging in this state of stillness. I've been doing it over the last couple of days. While trying to maintain some work. Not doing overly too much. Today I took the day off the gym. Yesterday I went, I did not feel good. That's when you know you have to come back some. When you're hitting the gym and you get there and the first couple exercises you do and you already feel done, it's like you just feel burnt. It's not that you don't even feel strong, it's just you feel just exhausted. That's when you have to make the logical decision to take a step back to eat, to practice stillness, meditate, don't have anything loud on, don't have a whole bunch of lights just everywhere on, don't, don't do that. Just be still. I did like a couple things today, Tops. Today is my stillness type of day. And I'm doing something right now, to be honest, and I have like one more thing after this and it'll be a quiet night on this Friday evening. And tomorrow, I'm going to take the day off the gym. Sunday, I'm going to take the day off the gym. Three days in a row. And then Monday, I'm going to hit it back hard because that's where my body's at right now. Some people take a week, two weeks off the gym to fully recover. I can't go that long, but I'm going to give myself this weekend and, 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 and do that. Because this is what I need. I don't need more exercise right now. I'm already jacked. I'm already shredded. I'm already in shape. I can sit here and eat a shitload of donuts. I can sit here and eat a pizzas and girl fingers and burgers and everything else. And I'm still going to be shredded. And I don't even have to exercise. Because that's just the shape I'm in. In fact, it would probably be good for me right now to do something like that. I'll probably have a cheat meal or two this weekend. And at the start of the week, I'm going to hit it hard again because I'm going to have the energy. And it's going to be good. <clears throat> so let me dabble into a few notes here that I took. Yes, instead of letting the overthinking paralyze you and to take a no real action, you have to be strong enough mentally to make a conscious choice to take action towards something and you will feel better. And never, never, never give up with taking massive action because it all adds up and it's what builds your life is taking massive action. It's harder for me to not take massive action more than anything else. It's, ho it's so hard for me to have a day where I wind back and have to meditate 
and everything else. But you know what? Once I know I need it and I start to do it, it gets easier because I know this is very good for me and I'm going to feel good again. So that's the thing, guys. If you're constantly overthinking, like taking massive action is the answer. Even if you don't know what you're doing, it's the answer. You feel accomplished when you check off boxes during the day, when, when you complete tasks, when you hit the gym properly, when you clean your home, when you do something that you're supposed to do, you feel accomplished. You're not going to overthink things. You killed it today. You, you did it. You done the do today. You were supposed to do what you done and you and you did it. It's all these things over time adding up, adding up, adding up. And cleaning your house is not going to get you nowhere, but I'm just saying, like, it could be any task you have during the day, at your job, at your business, at your gym, like, wherever it might be. It comes down to take a massive action. And like I said, if you have the excuse that you don't have the energy, then figure out a way to get energy so you can take massive action, just like I'm doing. You wind back some, you cut the workload down. Some people take time off, bro. I cannot take a full day off. No matter what is going on, I could be paralyzed from the waist down. I can't completely take a day off. It's not never gonna kill you to do a couple things during the day. You don't need a full 24 hour period rest, you just don't. Even if you slept for 12 hours, which I can't even sleep for 12, I can sleep for 10 quite easily, but 12, that's a lot. You're gonna have quite a bit of energy when you get up. The thing is, you might not have that amount sustained for that long, but you're gonna feel like you have energy. And when you get up and you start doing things, your energy bar might come back down fairly quick because it's not rebuilt to the top. My energy bar, bro, is rarely ever 100%. Most of the time it's fluctuating like near the middle to high range and it comes down low and I have to spark it back up and it's always just like, it's never way up here. It's just never way up here because I spend too much of it. And I'm pretty damn good at maintaining energy and knowing where it has to be most of the time so I can function. A lot of people, bro, who don't take massive action their energy bar is like at 100 most of the time. It might come down a little bit to about halfway down, but they boost it right back up and they have all the rest on earth and everything else. They take time off, they take days off, they take weeks off, and that's just not what I do because there's too much to do. So... Here's something else, another note that I have written down. People today are stunned, like literally stunned, especially younger people who lack life experience. They're stunned on what it actually takes to have any amount of success, and they think it's gonna be easier than it is. You're gonna find out how hard it is to actually achieve any amount of success and, and maintain any amount of success. It takes a lot, it demands a lot. It's your job to put yourself through some stuff to find out what you're made of. And only you can change your actions and transform your life. That is it. The only person that can do it is yourself. Your wife can't do it for you. Your dog can't do it for you. Your goldfish can't do it for you. Your parents can't do it for you. Your friends can't. Only you can. Only you can transform your life. Only you can think thoughts in your mind and get you to do X, Y, and Z. Only you can do it. Only you. Overthinking not only kills your personal life, and your goals, your career path quite possibly, or your business or something else, it can also kill friendships, relationships especially. How many women today, bro, overthink certain things with guys? 
play a, a ridiculous amount of games because their emotions tell them to do so. And then they ruin something with a guy they could only dream of. Overthinking kills you, kills your progress. It kills your personal life. It kills your life with people. It kills so many things. And so many people today, bro, are in a state of just craziness. <laughs> with the likes of Snapchat, with the likes of all these apps, all these mind games, people's more insecure than ever. All these women are playing more games than ever. Like, it, bro, it really be the females, bro. Guys don't want to sit around and play all these games. Like, guys don't want to do that. They're more direct. Let's get shit going. But they just, they're all on their way. Women are all on their way doing a whole bunch of stuff. And it's just like, that only causes more overthinking. Instead of them facing you how a woman should, because men get all the blame today. We get all the blame today, bro. And if we call out bad behavior in, in women, we get the blame once again. They project onto us. They make us look bad. It's just like, you just can't win. So win without them. Oh my God, we're such bad people. Oh, 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 oh. Look how out of control we are. Uh, 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 uh. I would argue we are very in control, very logical. We know what we're doing. We know what we want. We know what we're going after. And I would argue most of women do not. But oh my God, such a bad person. Look at me. Oh, such a bad person. For telling the truth, you prick. <laughs> yeah. Talk about hard in the head. That's something else. You deal with females, bro, they will put you in a state of overthinking naturally with all the games. They, they want you overthinking because they're overthinking. You're so logical. You're so upfront, so direct. It's like we could just meet up now. You can come over to my place now. I can meet you somewhere now. And it's just all this nonsense of what they have to say and they flake in the date. And it's just like, oh my goodness. You don't know what to do. And if you don't double text her, oh my God, he must not care about me because he's not double texting me. Oh my God. Just, 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 just stop it. <sighs> That's what I'm saying. <sighs> Women's another thing, bro, that just causes overthinking and stress. They, they really do, bro. I, I, women are supposed to be lovely creatures, but they're just... More insecure today now than ever. More crazier today now than ever. More games today now than ever. They're supposed to just come in our presence. Be sweet, kind, bubbly, loving, caring, nurturing. We're supposed to just be able to coddle up with them and just... <sighs> We'd love nothing more than that, but it's just not how shit's going today. <laughs> it's just not how it's going today. Because they be overthinking like motherfuckers, bruh. Women are the worst overthinkers of all time. I've actually personally heard them say this, many of them themselves. I'm just a worrier. I'm just an overthinker. Yeah, you are. You're damn right you are. So don't project it onto me. Don't try to put me in that state. Life is so peaceful, bro, when you deal with none of those types of females. And it's almost like if you deal with a female today, that is what you're dealing with. And it's, if you're a man trying to build your life, you don't need that in your life. Especially if you're not very far along in your life. You definitely don't need that in your life. Men should take breaks from women. Completely. That's another piece of advice I will give you. And I don't think it's anything magical. I think a lot of y'all know that yourselves. Like, bro, we deserve... Feminine, submissive, sweet, kind, caring women who are supportive. We do the heavy lifting. We do the harder work. Y'all can't even do that today. 
So why do we want y'all again? This is the mess that is that is here today, and we get to blame somehow. We somehow, by some divine fairy tale miracle, get blamed for this. We're just wrong. All women are perfect, guys. They're all perfect. They could never do any wrong. We are, we are all terrible. Especially for telling the truth. We're just such terrible people. So completely out of control and chaotic. We're just the biggest idiots of all time. Every one of us, guys. <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, bro. That's all the um, pieces of advice and information I have for this video. And just stop creating scenarios for yourself where you're overthinking. Take action, and if you can't take action because you don't have enough energy, step back. Meditate in a dark room. Meditate in a room that has dimmed lights. Because a lot of light just takes more energy out of you. It's just brighter, loud music. It's just going to suck the energy from you. And it can be difficult, bro, because it's not the funnest thing on earth. Like, I'm a pretty chaotic guy, I like, and chaotic in a good way. I like to be amped up. I like to be taking crazy action. I like to hit it hard in the gym. So when I can't do those things, it's pretty boring. But there's something fun about once you get into the hang in the groove of meditating, you start to accept it and you start to accept this is what I'm gonna do for the next day or two. And I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna be a lot stronger and I'm gonna have energy for a long time. I'm not gonna burn myself out like this again. It's all about learning, bro. It's all about self-awareness. It's all about learning and growing. And don't let any of these maniacs out there steer you the wrong way. Don't let nobody do that shit. Everybody has their own life. Everyone's working on their own schedule. You have to know what's best for you every step of the way. You have to do what's right for your own self. Which means you have to be ultimately self-aware. If you look at life like a video game, you have to be good at the video game. I could be sitting here tell, telling you how to click every button to, to be better. This is how you win. This is how you head kick someone on UFC 5. You still have to do it. I can only tell you so many buttons to click. You're going to have to figure things out on your own. That's what you're going to have to do. So, I hope this video could help. Instead of overthinking so much, start taking some action. Like, it'll make you feel better. You feel more accomplished. You feel like you've done something. And it's going to help you grow. That's it.